He worked for Bantam Doubleday Dell Publishing Group in New York. In 1987, he was having dinner with some colleagues in the publishing world at a restaurant. One of those colleagues told a story about how he heard a customer in a bookstore asking a clerk for an easy-to-read computer book. The man had asked, Do you have any basic books on DOS? You know, something simple. Like DOS for dummies. At the time, he was in the habit of writing down random ideas and saving them in a file. The moment he heard it, he thought what an interesting notion that was. And he described the guy who wanted a book for dummies and filed the note away. In 1989, International Data Group, an information technology publisher, invited him to come out to California and start his own company on their nickel. And three weeks later he was the publisher of the newly formed IDG Books, worldwide. His first two books were about Nintendo and Sega video games. IDG Books printed 100,000 copies of each of the books, but the result was a major failure. Now he was desperate. So he took out the idea he had kept. And in November 1991, he hired author Dan Cookin to publish a book titled Dose for Dummies and printed 7,500 copies. The book was unconventional, contrarian, and a risky venture. It had a funky yellow cover and it had instant appeal for smart people who were being made to feel like dummies by software companies. In just over a year, this book had moved more than 1.5 million copies and from there his company mushroomed. For Dummies books soon covered subjects such as sex, jazz, cooking, gardening, and sports. This story is about John Kilcullen, co-founder and CEO of IDG Books. This example shows us very well how creation is done and listen to anything with interest and record it. That's the seed of creation.